In this lesson, I want to explain an uh, interesting tool called Spline Arc Tool. Click on it, it's in, in its settings. You can simply click and drag to make a line. This is diameter of your arc. And then don't, uh, don't worry about that. It's not important. Going back to the line and simply click and drag. And an arc will be created here. <clears throat> you can continue your drawing arc, but anytime, for example, uh, escape to uh, OK the tool. If you are in a arc tool, you can go in back to your drawing and simply edit them. You can go into this area for rotating that, as you can see, separate from that object. Delete that to <clears throat> draw again. Click and drag and going back and click and drag here. You can go into this area to rotating that. Click another, uh, click again on a tool to appear its sitting. You can simply <clears throat> click and drag on this area to rotate that. Here you can rotate middle point, end point. First one, you can change all of them. You can change center, you can change radius, you can change angle. Here, you can change, you can slice it. You can change the angle of this. Going to this uh, circle and you can scale it. You can scale your arc. You can slice it again. Or you can go into any point and, or you can change it the center of the arc. And after that, you can apply it or escape to uh, escape for escaping the drawing tool. Look at this image. Here, this is middle point. This is radius, the first point of arc, center point, and end point. And this is an angle. All of you can go in back to the, for changing the curve. Pay attention. For example, I'm uh, here and uh, draw arc and going and change the one of the points. And after that, going back to, back to the tool, you can see your arc will be messed up and you cannot edit them. But you can change another line to the arc simply <clears throat> you can change them manually or change this handle here for drawing your art arc i want to give an example for example i draw a rectangle here make it editable to access its point or another example, I draw a simple curve here. And anytime you can go into the line with the uh, arc tool and from this straight line make an arc. Escape to escape and anytime that you can go back and edit them, pay attention, do not change this point. For example, in this uh, square, these are hard edge and you can click and drag to make a arc. As you can see, if you apply it or escape to exit the tool, you can see we have two. Okay, control Z, what's happened here? Going to the arc tool, do not hit apply, just escape. As you can see, instead of the arc, it creates a two hard edge because we have a hard edge here. But if we have a tangent, tangent here, for example, I draw a rectangle again before editing editable. We add a rounding at that and then make editable. And look at here, we have a tangent. And because of this tangent, we can draw 
a curve. Simply click anywhere to apply it. And we have an arc here. Okay. What's the new transform? Uh, this is a uh, real-time update. You can tick that. Reset value. It's reset all of this value to the beginning point. 